Aloha, here is our pinch pot tutorial. You're going to take your clay and you're going to divide it into three balls. A large one, medium, and small size. This is so that your pinch pots can stack together. If you don't want to do that and you want to make two bigger ones, that's okay too. Or you could make five small ones. Up to you. Take your first ball and indent your thumb in the center as shown. You're going to gently work your thumb and fingers around the edge of the clay to form a little bowl. Keep doing this until you have the size and thickness that you want. You don't want to go too thin or else the bowl won't be very strong. So the thicker you have the walls, the stronger your bowl will be. You can use a flat, hard surface to help you. Repeat this process with each ball of clay until you have the little bowls that you like. If you make a mistake, you can start over. I decided to start over on this ball because I didn't like the way it was working and one of the walls got a little too thin. So just start over, it's no problem. Just form your clay into a ball again and start the process over. It may take you a few tries to get used to it, but I'm sure that you can do it. These bowls are perfect for jewelry or little trinkets that you'd like to store. You could even give them as a gift to someone. It's nice because you can customize them with the paint afterward. So here we have the paint that comes with the kit. You can use this paint or you can use your own acrylic paint. It's just a basic acrylic paint that you will need. You can paint your bowls while they are still fresh and not dry, but it is a lot more difficult. You have to be really careful not to squeeze or pull the bowl. So I would recommend that you paint them once they are dry. Drying these bowls takes about 24 hours, but if you are impatient, you can go ahead and paint them now like you see I am doing. Just be extra careful.
You may need to put two coats of paint on your bowls. Depends on how you prefer the look. But just wait for the first coat to dry before applying the second coat. As you can see, this bowl is already dried. So it is much easier to paint because it's not gonna squish in your hands at all. So you don't have to be extra careful. You can just go for it. Here's a bowl that I have already painted and just have fun with it and do any kind of design that you would like. Make it more creative or basic, whatever is your thing. And here's some little trinkets that you can put inside and store or jewelry or whatever small little things that you have. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you love your Pinch Pot kit.